Hi, welcome to Mahika Tutorials. I am Mahika Mutwani. Now in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can inject a dependent object into a bean. Uh, let's suppose if there is a hazard relationship between two beans, then how one bean can be injected into another that we are going to see in this tutorial. So we are going to take an example where we will have one employee bean and second will be the address bean and we have to inject the address into the employee. So that we are going to see using the setter injection. So for that I have created this project spring injecting object and here I am going to first add the spring library which we have already created so here we will go to the configure build path option now here in libraries we will select add library and then user library and from user library we will select this spring lib which we created in our earlier tutorials apply and ok now we have added the required jar files now next thing that we need to do is we need to create our bean class so i'm going to create a new class with the name employee and we will give it inside a package and then we will simply click the finish now for employee we are going to take here three attributes or three properties first is of course ID second name and third one we are going to take is address Now we will add the getters and setters. We are getting error here because we haven't created the class address yet which we will do later on. So here we will simply generate the getters and setters for these three properties. Select all and OK. Now here we will create the second bean which is our address. So here we will give sorry address and finish. Now for address we will take again three properties. Let's say street, city and state. And then we can generate the getters and setters for these three as well. So we have created both the required classes employee as well as address. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to create our configuration file. So we will create beans.xml in which we will provide the configuration for address and employee. So we need to right click on src new and we need to select the xml file. If it is not listed we will go to other option and from there we will select the xml xml file and let the name be beans.xml ok now we need to get the doc type here so we will copy the doc type from our previous project and we will paste in our and beans.xml we'll remove this so now here we can give the configuration for address as well as employee so what we will do we will first provide the configuration for this address bean and then we will provide for the employee so here we will configure the address first using the bean tag now for bean tag we need to give two attributes here the first one would be the id and second one would be the class so here we will give id first let's say 
address and then the class for which we are creating this bean so we will just copy the qualified name and paste it here okay now we will give the property tag to configure the different properties of this bean so we will give property and the name of the first property is street so here we will give street and then we will give the value for this property so here we will give value and let's say park street and the next property that we will give is the city I will just simply copy this and paste it and make the changes so we have street then we have city let the city be Pune and let the state be Maharashtra okay now we have configured the bean address now we will configure employee so here again we will take one more bean tag and then we will configure our employee bean so again we will give the id and class id let's say emp and then class so again we will copy the qualified name and then we will configure the properties of this bean so we will take property again and we will configure the first property using the name attribute so the name is id and then we will give the value for this let it be 111 one, one and similarly we will configure the other two properties as well so let me copy this and paste now the second property is name so here we will give name and then here we will give the value let's say ram now the third property is address and here we are not going to use the value attribute because this is a has a relationship so here we will make use of ref attribute to provide the reference and this has to refer to this id or to this bean with the id address so here we will give this reference that is we are injecting this object into this EMP object so we are done with the coding required in the beans.xml now we can write our test file or the client code and then we will execute it so we will create another class let's say test and we need main method now here we will create the object for application context and then we will give the reference variable application context is an interface and we will use the implementation class path xml application context and here we will pass the name of our configuration file which is the beans.xml we need to import this ok there is some spelling mistake now the next thing that we need to do is we can get the 
getbean using the getbean method. So here we will give context dot getbean and here we need to pass the ID of the bean and the bean ID is EMP and then we can give a reference variable here. So now we can display the bean after performing a cast. And here we need to give bean. Okay, and then we can close the application context. So for that we can give context dot close and we need to typecast this. So we will perform the typecast for abstract application context. Okay, one thing more we need to do is in this employee class we need to give the two string method. So we will generate the two string method. Now we can run our test file. Now here you can see we are getting ID 111 name ram address okay we haven't given the two string method in address so we need to give there as well so we will generate the two string method here as well and save this now we will run our code once again Now we are getting the correct values for ID, name and for street, city and state. So this is how we can inject one object inside another object. We first created this bean address and then we have injected this into this bean EMP using the property tag only but rather than using the value attribute we have used the REF attribute here. Thank you for watching this tutorial.